Sandy, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, Richard. Hey. Uh oh, what's happening? Hi, Jeff. Good evening. How are you? Well, how are you? Good, thank you. All right, so we'll give people just two more minutes and we'll get started. Okay. How many people are on the call, Matt? Can you tell? Looks like 19 panelists and six attendees. So we're still missing about six working group members. Okay. All right, should we get started? Sure. All right, well, welcome everyone to the second working group on renaming the Lee Highway meeting. Um, again, my name is Matt Weinstein. I'm the chair of the working group and wanna welcome you all back today. Uh, before we officially start our meeting, I wanna uh, recognize a special guest. We have County Board Member Matt DeFerranti, who has joined us and much like Katie last week, I'd like to have him say a few words and get us started. Thanks, Matt. Um, and I just, Katie and I touched base a little bit today, um, and I wanted just to, to say hello and just thank each of you for joining this uh, working group. Um, I think I know each of you, and it's been a little while since I've seen some of you on Zoom calls or in person, but, um, and there are a couple that I haven't yet met, but I, um, I think each of you that I, who I do know, and so many on the call know just what an important moment and role um, this working group is gonna play in um, our story and where um, Arlington as a whole is headed and, um, and in particular um, the, the nodes and the, the span that is this road that you will provide um, suggestions for renaming. So um, I've listened and had conversations with Sandy and Matt and and others um, and Paul um, and Ginger as well and uh, I know that this is a, a group that's ready to that's already uh, had your first meeting and you have a couple coming up but you're ready to roll up your sleeves and uh, I'm really grateful. I think it is really important um, as we are in a um, busy and I suppose you could say interesting set of times. Um, it is important for us to, in my view, um, strongly support the direction you're headed and um, as does the board, but also um, have tried to stay in touch with Katie's leadership and, and really the leadership of, of Matt and everyone who is moving us forward. And um, I think it's important, wanted to share that thought with you and kind of convey emotionally that it is key for me too to, to rename the road, make it a welcoming road and move um, all of the work that the civic leaders uh, on this, in this group and civic association leaders and residents of Lee Highway Alliance have done over the past years. So I think there's some momentum, also just a key role for you and a big thank you. Matt, I don't know if there are any burning questions that Sandy or Ginger members have, um, but mostly it's just a thanks to each of you for doing this. I'm gonna stay in close touch with Katie 
as are the whole members of the each of the members of the board and we're looking forward to seeing your recommendations all right well thank you matt appreciate you taking the time today to join us and to open up the meeting so appreciate it and we look forward to working with you all right so again welcome to the second meeting um next slide All right, so tonight's agenda, um, it is a pretty full agenda, and I will just give you a fair warning. It is gonna be a pretty process heavy discussion, but it is an essential discussion because we need to iron out our process. We are ready to move forth our work and choose a name for Lee Highway, recommend a name for Lee Highway. All right, so um, we've had our welcome. We're gonna move on to the charge reaffirmation, discuss how we're continuing to make this a very transparent process, talk about rules of engagement again, just as a reminder go over the schedule and give you an update on our follow-up items coming from last week's or two weeks our first meeting two weeks ago then we'll talk about the community engagement in building community buy-in and what we're doing on that front and what everyone has done in the last two weeks um, we're going to talk about the process for narrowing the names and do a presentation and discussion and just heads up there um, we'll do a lot of talking at that point but we're going to have an open discussion once i'm done and i really urge you to hold your questions questions until we get through that presentation. Um, same with talking about the suggested criteria in rules voting or rules discussion and then how we're going to choose a method to do the actual voting on names. And finally, we're going to review and give you some homework for the next meeting, which will be on October 21st. Next slide. All right, so first thing, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, all of you were emailed meeting minutes from, last, uh, from the last meeting and it was posted online on the LHA website. We sent you revised meeting minutes earlier today, and it was simply just to update the bio for one of the working group members, so no substantive changes. And um, I'm looking for a motion to adopt the meeting minutes, or if we have any questions, talk about them. So moved. Second. Second. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, great. Sounds like the ayes have it. Um, so again, after this meeting, we're taking meeting minutes today. We'll post them online and uh, send them to you for your review before the next meeting. All right, next slide. All right, so just to give you a reminder, and it's really important to really hone in on this because all of these groups will be mentioned at length during today's meeting. Just to remind you who's involved in this process. Um, First, there's the steering committee, which we talked about last meeting. It's made up of LHA board volunteers and staff and to administer the, pro the, the, the role is to administer the process, prepare for meetings, take meeting minutes, and follow up with county staff. So the presentation you're looking at right now, uh, the meeting minutes that were prepared, the agenda that was sent out, that's all the work of the steering committee. It's just keeping the trains moving on time, and it is really an administrative role. We also have the working group on renaming Lee Highway, that's you. And it's made up of voting members of the renaming process in, for the renaming process in their liaisons to the community. Then third, and finally, we have advisor groups. These are experts on topics, liaisons to the community, and they give advi they advise members of the working group on potential names and how it relates to their specific expertise. So I really want to give you an overview again of who the participants are in this process as we move forward. Next slide. All right, so reaffirming the charge. So we sent you the charge on September 4th, and it's just a useful reminder to, to understand why we're here and what we're doing. And we're here to identify the top choice for a new name in two to four alternatives. It can be forwarded to the Arlington County Board for its consideration. We are going to supply a thorough explanation for the number one choice based on an adherence to criteria, public input, responsiveness to branding needs, business insights, and research. We'll also provide rationale for the two to four alternatives that we choose. And finally, uh, the potential new name should be reflective of and compatible uh, with the LHA guiding principles, especially to establish a welcoming, vibrant, and attractive corridor in neighborhood places. So that's why we're here and that's what we're working on. Next slide. Just a quick reminder of the rules of engagement. We did a great job last time and I have no doubt we'll do a great job tonight in our future meetings. Um, so meeting norms, come prepared, be respectful and courteous, stay on track and topic, be mindful of time, 
And then uh, for Zoom norms, raise your hand, not your Zoom hand, and wait until prompted to ask questions. And as a reminder, um, we have designated placeholders in this presentation where we're gonna take questions and have a discussion. So I, I urge you to please hold your questions until we're done going through the particular slides. Please stay on mute when you're not speaking. Utilize the chat box to communicate with other working group members and message an administrator with any technological challenges and questions. And in that case, it's gonna be Maya and Ginger. You should have their email addresses. Next slide. All right, so I just wanna remind everyone, we, we are committed to and working towards having a very transparent process. We really want the community to have confidence in the work we're doing and know that we're reaching out to them and we're showing all the work we're doing. And you know, every working group meeting uh, will be recorded. It's currently being live streamed on Facebook and we'll have community members watching from home. Uh, recordings will be available on LHA's website after each meeting. And also on LHA's website, we have meeting minutes, the working group charge, meeting documents, like the message points we sent you a week or so ago and then the renaming process flowchart. And we urge you to you know, keep visiting the, the LHA website. Uh, we'll continuously update it with meeting documents and, and things as we go through the process. So we're showing our homework. Um, we are letting people know what we're doing and we just, we're gonna continue doing that because it's so important. Next slide. All right, so to follow up on some items from the last meeting, uh, we created message points, a message point one pager, and we sent it to the community. I know some of you have sent that to your, your community, and we really appreciate that. We hope you find it helpful. Uh, we're working on meeting with the county manager's office to explore broadening community outreach and discuss racial equity issues. So once that's ironed out, we will invite them and have them join us. Uh, we're continuing the conversation with county staff and VDOT on the realignment of Old Dominion and Old Lee Highway. Uh, we're expanding our outreach through mailers and advertisements. Um, we researched what's called the five-year deceased rule. Some of you may or may not know this, but there's a county board policy right now for parks and facilities and a uh, policy with APS for schools that someone has to have been deceased for at least five years to have a park or facility or a school named after them. That uh, right now, it's not clear whether that applies to roads, um, but it is a county board policy, and I think, you know, since we have a lot of names that are named after people, including some recently deceased people, um, it's just, you know, important to be cognizant of that rule, and I think we should just continue moving forward with our work and understand it's a county board policy, and it's just something that we have to, ultimately, if we go down the road of choosing a name after someone who died recently, work with the county board on it and figure out the best way to, to handle this. Uh, we worked with middle school principals to create a survey for students and we sent you name updates or sorry name suggestion list last friday and we will continue to do that every friday as names keep coming in we'll send you an updated list each and every friday next slide all right so schedule going forward we have tonight's meeting obviously we have our next working group meeting on october 21st we have a meeting on december 2nd and if needed january 13th and the advisory groups, um, the branding advisory group is meeting October 7th. Um, the inst institutional advisory group meeting will meet October 14th. And in November, we'll have meetings with the business, neighborhood, and transportation advisory groups. So that's just a quick reminder of the calendar and where we're going. Next slide. All right, so related to the transparency point I made earlier, we're working really hard to build uh, community engagement and buy-in as we go through this process. So thank you to the NAACP so much, Callaway Church, Cherry Hill Citizens Association, the Residences of Lion Hill, the Yorktown Civic Association, Lion Village Civic, Civic Association, and open it up to the group. Let us know if, if you also did this uh, for coming up with names. We got so many names from you guys, and we really appreciate the hard work you did to roll up your sleeves, talk to your community, and give us some name ideas. It was greatly appreciated. Um, so for the schools, we want to thank you, the APS principals, for working on a student survey. Uh, business outreach, we want to thank Lebanese Taverna, the Little, Little Ambassadors Academy, and the 21 businesses that responded to the survey we sent out to them. And then public polling, just uh, as a reminder of where this is going to be in the process, um, we decided to increase the number of final names for the working group's consideration uh, from 10 to 12 to 20, um, because we really think we're getting such a volume of names that we really wanna have a 
thorough discussion um, on you know the really uh, viable finalists that we get to once we get down to 20. So we're expanding the number of um, final names to 20 that we're going to consider, and it's going to be informed by the public polling we're going to do with the community through uh, Facebook and online, and also flyers with um, QPR codes. Uh, we're going to have businesses across the corridor and do some advertising. And that's gonna happen between October 23rd and November 30th. So that's really the portion of the process where we're getting input from the community. And all told, this is all really, again, to get people involved, get buy-in, and really feel like we're moving forward with the community as we provide recommendations to the technology board. Next slide. All right, at this point, I'll pause for questions. Uh, Matt, Tom Wolf here, just wondering, uh, if there's a list of the 21 businesses that responded to the survey and also a copy of the survey, if that's someplace that I missed, I apologize. Sure, Ginger, Maya. We sent out the survey to request um, just comments back and name ideas and we are gonna, we're still receiving them. Um, we'll be, we can bring a report next time. Um, we don't have a final report yet. It's not done. Is is the survey posted somewhere that I missed or it's just sending it's sending it to businesses that we have relationships with on the corridor. Maya, do you want to talk about specifically? Sure. Um, so we sent out a survey um, A to get name suggestions and B um, as we were building our FAQ page. Um, mm -hmm. I guess two, three weeks ago um, to gather information from the business to see if they had any concerns, questions, anything they needed answered so we could be as, again, transparent as possible and to address anything that businesses wanted to know. Um, so the survey was pretty, sorry, got a car going off outside. Um, it was pretty straightforward, uh, you know, asking if what their business was, if they were comfortable sharing it, um, and you know, pretty open. Do you have any questions? What's the name suggestion? Uh, that sort of thing. But Tom, I, I think we could post that if, if that's what you're asking. Well, I'm just, I'm just curious uh, what questions were asked and, yeah, exactly. and, and who responded. Uh, right. That's great. Uh, yeah. Well, kudos for doing it, first of all, but I'm just curious to see what, 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 what the response has been. Thank you. Sure, sure. We were going to do that. We were actually planning on maybe sending out some more detailed questions because it really the first round was about you know what questions they have for us for our FAQ. So now we can you know, do follow up and dig in a little deeper. I I, I have a I have a question. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so especially as we get to receive when as we start to receive more names. Um, I'm wondering whether it's possible to indicate if people are willing to do that, to indicate who proposed the name or which organization. Like I was very, um, I thought it was very useful to know that these names are proposed by the NAACP, for example. And both, you know, the most of the names that, that we received were just, you know, names in the abstract without any sense of who proposed them or why they proposed them. So I, I know it's, Maybe it sounds like too much work, but I'm wondering whether when we get the name, there could be a short statement as to why somebody's proposing that name. You, just you know, to give us some context. So the, the, those would be the two things: who proposed it, and any small explanation of why they're proposing that particular name. So we've received uh, on almost 140 names, but we found that it would be really helpful to some of them require definitions and then they're sort of self-explanatory um, once you dig in and we can do our best, especially organizations that send in groups of names, but we've also had many dozens of individuals that are just interested in the process. Some of the name collection, it's to get ideas, but it's also to do the public engagement to let folks be aware that this is happening and participate. So um, some of those names, we, if we have an organization, we'll be happy to share that. Right. Yeah, I, no, as much, absolutely. We'll, we'll try and categorize it, define them. That's, we were gonna try to do it tonight. We ran out of time, we're in the middle of that. We hope to get that on Friday. 
Right. Yeah. And it's a lot of work. And I, I can appreciate how with this first round, you might not want to do it for all the names, but maybe it's as we get to a more serious list of names that it might be more important. And a lot of the names were self-explanatory, Good Hope Boulevard or, you know, John Lewis Street. But there's some of them that, you know, that really, I had to Google who is this person. Yeah, I, and, me too. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and so we're going to do that. It's, it's on our to-do list and we're, we're hoping to send out the list every Friday. And we're going to alphabetize them. We're going to try and maybe put them in categories if that's possible. Um, and definitely define them if, if right. possible. Yeah. And then, you know, if a name has been proposed, for example, by the NAACP, I might consider it more differently than if it's been proposed by another organization because then I'd be, I don't know, I'd be more inclined. Yeah, sure. To we can add that. We can add that if, if, it's, if, the, if the origin is known or. Right. Mm -hmm. then Thank you. Thank certainly you. Certainly add that. I see Richard Price. Just a quick question um, in terms of the survey and the outreach to the principals. I want to make sure uh, key elementary schools principal or and or vice principal uh, were contacted. Uh, we we have not. We were working on a survey with the middle schools because they are on our advisory group. We can okay. we can certainly. Um, we could certainly reach out to them. We were going to. The first survey is going to be asking for names from the kids because we thought it, middle schoolers would be you know, old enough. We, we could send the list, the 20 list to the elementary school kids, like once it's been narrowed down. Well, well by the working fifth graders, group. I think, are pretty savvy, and I think this would be a great fifth grade project. And Key Elementary School is the uh, most diverse elementary school in the county next to Claremont. Uh, and I don't think we should discount that viewpoint. Elementary school folks. Okay, yeah, we'll be happy to reach out. Do Thank you, you. I don't know the principal. I, we, I just happen to know all the middle, middle school principals. So if you could send me or make an introduction, we'll be happy to do that. Sure. All right, any other questions? Oh, I see Jim Todd. Jim? I, I, I just, and maybe you don't know the answer. But on the five-year deceased rule, does that mean that a currently living person is not eligible under county policy or just a recently deceased person is not eligible? So this, there's some ambiguity on this one that we're gonna have to continue to get back to you on. Is the rule applies to parks and rec, I think. Um, and so and, we're- And schools. Process, and schools. Yeah. So it's a little, it, we're not, sh we don't, some more discussions are needed, but we, we kind of feel like we shouldn't just cross anybody off the list. And if we get to the end, you know, and one of our favorite, it's an ongoing discussion. I think it's a big piece. Okay, anyone else? I'm scrolling through the panel here. I don't see anyone else with their hands up. Uh, Matt? Yeah, JD. JD. Yeah, just, just real quick. I wanted to, to what uh, Ms. Kane spoke about. Yeah, at NAACP, we did submit just the names, but trust, we have full explanations because that's how they came in to us uh, from some of our members. Uh, and I know it may be some challenges with, you know, trying to figure out some of the names, but we're prepared for each of the names that we submitted to go into, you know, more depth about why, who, where, what they, what significance behind each of those names at a pro more appropriate time. Thank you. We really appreciate that, having that information. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. Thank you, JD. All right, anyone else? Just going once. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Did you understand it's an ongoing discussion about the deceased rule? But I think it might be beneficial to have that information sooner rather than later, so we don't go down the pike and then find that there's no way that the board will accept it, that they're hard and fast in that rule. You know, we may decide that we want to argue, but if they're going to be hard and fast, it'd be better to know so we don't fall in love with the name that's that's just not going to be viable in the end. Yeah, and I will say it's a county board policy, so mm -hmm. they don't, you know, necessarily follow the policy for everything. Every policy they do, you know. That's good to know, too. <laughs> that's good to know, too. Expression, it's not law, it's policy, so right. I think, you know. It's not, not a state gonna, law. It's okay. not a state law, so Thanks. it's, it's Thank up you to for them clarifying. ultimately. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Okay, ready to move on? All right. 
All right, so now we're going to the process portion of today's meeting. And again, this is going to be a lot of information, but there's been plenty of opportunity to ask questions and ultimately have a vote on some of these uh, topics later on. So overview of the process. Uh, today, the September 30th meeting, we're going to select draft, we're going to select criteria, discuss the rules for um, how we're going to winnow down the names, and also the voting method to determine how we're going to select the final, the preferred name and the two to four alternatives. Prior to the October 21st meeting, and we'll get into this and we'll have a vote on this, um, we need to figure out how are we going to window down these names. And there are three different ways to do it. And again, I'll have more details on this shortly. But the way we could do it is have either the steering committee kind of evaluate the names to the criteria, against the criteria, and then come to the October 21st meeting um with you know with the uh, criteria report so we could say you know this name meets that criteria it doesn't meet that criteria so the steering committee is one option another option is to have a subcommittee of the working group so anyone who wants to participate in that process of evaluating names against criteria and then producing the criteria report um, so again option two is having a subcommittee of working group members to be involved and then third is the whole working group goes through every name and every criteria um, to really winnow down the list. And, you know, each option has its pros and its cons and, and associated workloads and, and all that, but we'll discuss it later. But the gist of it is prior to the October 21st meeting, um, we'll reduce the long list using the criteria and come up with the criteria um, report. And then at the October 21st meeting, We'll discuss and vote to reduce the list to 20 names and uh, the working group will also participate in a survey to really see what the preferences are and really use that to move forward and narrow down the list. Um, from October to November, the advisory groups will provide input to the working group. October 23rd and November 30th, we'll do community outreach and the public will poll the top 20 names. And then at the December 2nd meeting, we will dis the working group will discuss and vote on the preferred choice and two to four alternatives. So that's a high level overview of the process. We'll be going into all these things in greater detail in just a few minutes. Next slide. All right, so as I flagged earlier, we have a lot of heavy lifting to do between now and October 21st. Um, we have right now 128 name suggestions and I think this information was put in earlier today and I think we're probably closer to 140 and it's growing by the day, which is wonderful. I'm very happy to see so many names coming in, people being engaged in the process. That's a lot of work. Um, so the way to do this is, again, before October 21st, we have three different options, as I said just a few minutes ago. Steering committee uh, can do the lifting and, and evaluate the names against the criteria. Um, then we can have a subcommittee of the working group can do it. Anyone from the working group could join the subcommittee. And then the full working group. So we can meet October 21st and go through every single name, again, evaluate against the criteria. And if that's the case, um, we might have to extend the working group timeline because I don't know if we can get through, let's say at that point, 200 names in two hours. It's gonna be very difficult. Um, so just a reminder what these groups would do. They would administer the rules and reduce the list of name suggestions, complete criteria evaluation report based on the criteria decided upon tonight, and present um, to the working group at the October 21st meeting. And then we'd have a discussion um, among the working group about, you know, maybe this name actually does meet this criteria, even if the recommendation is it doesn't. Just have a discussion about it and, 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 and decide based on that. All right, next slide. All right, so one of the pieces of homework I gave you last week is review the draft criteria. And, um, just by way of uh, raising your hands, how many of you were able to do that? All right, I see some of some people, that's great. Um, so the original draft criteria, I'm not gonna go through all these again, but this is really based largely in part on the Lee Highway Alliance guiding principles. And um, these criteria are, you know, they're, they're really meant to guide discussion, to have a discussion about a name and whether it meets these criteria and whether it's appropriate for renaming Lee Highway. Um, you know, one a name doesn't have to satisfy all the criteria to be a finalist. Um, so, you know, that was the guiding thought behind the draft criteria we presented last time, but I will talk about later, we made a small tweak to this 
and we'd like to get your thoughts on it. Next slide. All right, so we're gonna suggest some rules for evaluating criteria because there, you know, there are some ways that we need to call the list um, that, you know, there are objective, hard and fast rules that will help us move through the list. And uh, we wanna, again, get your thoughts on these later on, but we're suggesting that um, we, we uh, you know, look at these rules and really use them as a way to call the list um, before we even get to the criteria evaluation. So the first one is the name does not include play on or refer to the word Lee. So we got a few suggestions like Spike Lee, Lee Highway, Light, Ho Light Horse Harry Lee. Uh, name is not a joke. So we got Speed Trap Highway or La Highway. Um, another rule is name is not already used for another street or road in Arlington. So you know, we talked about this last time. Um, you can't have a road of the same name, two roads of the same name in Arlington. So that's really kind of just a, you know, a black and white rule and it would really um, be used to eliminate some names right off the bat. The name is not sensitive, hurtful, or divisive. Um, you know, one example, one we got so far is all lives matter. Um, so that, and this is another suggested rule. And then we want to suggest considering the name separately. So we would have, uh, instead of John Lewis Boulevard, we'd have John Lewis and Boulevard. And the reasoning behind this is that there were some names that you know, had the same first name, but then a different road name. So John Lewis Boulevard, John Lewis Highway, John Lewis Avenue. And if we didn't separate the names, each one of those names, Bull, John Lewis uh, Boulevard, Highway and Avenue would be separate names to vote on and would really you know, potentially dilute the vote. Um, and that we really don't think the intent is people are so adamant about Boulevard versus Highway. They care more about John Lewis. Um, so we would consider a rule or suggest a rule that you consider the name separately. Next slide. All right, so based on the rules we're suggesting, we revised the criteria. And the upshot of this is we took out, um, we took out one of the draft criteria from last time, which is that the name um, cannot the same name as another road in Arlington. And we heard this from some working group members last time as, as well, that it, it didn't strike them as a criteria because it's an either or thing, either the road is named after another road or it's not. So we took that out the list, list of draft criteria and made it a rule. And just a reminder, a name does not have to satisfy all criteria. So the final list of draft criteria that we're suggesting and bringing to the working group discussion and vote later on is the name is welcoming to all people and businesses. The name promotes economic vitality and effectively brands the corridor. The name increases public understanding of cultural history and racial equity. The name is not highway, but promotes Main Street character in accordance with revisioning under the Plainly Highway. The name reflects community and business property owners' input. And the name is relevant to Arlington, Northern Virginia, and to place, history, flora, culture, landscape. So this is the final list of draft criteria. And again, we will discuss this in just a few moments. Next slide. All right, so just to you know, really hammer home what we were gonna be doing on October 21st at our next working group meeting, there's gonna be a presentation on results of selection criteria report and a, list, a new list of names. We'll hear reports from advisory groups and we'll work on real-time surveys to the working group members to bring the list down to 20. So that's the goal for the next meeting. Next slide. Um, so, some specifics on how the advisory groups are going to review these names. The branding advisory group will meet October 7th and report on October 21st. The institutional advisory group will meet on October 14th and also report on October 21st to the working group. And the business, neighborhood, and transportation advisory groups will meet in November and report on December 2nd. And just to remind you again, um, these advisory groups are made up of experts um, with you know very specific knowledge uh, that can really inform the working group as we go through the names so they'll be presenting to us they're not going to make any decisions they present to the working group and the working group will use that information to choose a name recommend, name recommendations next slide um, so community outreach and public polling public holding public polling will be held electronically october october 23rd through november 30th 
We'll distribute it, um, opportunities to, do, to participate through schools, businesses, individuals, and the LHA website. We'll possibly have mailers and advertisements as well. And we'll present the results to the working group at the December 2nd meeting. And the, the polling results we're getting from the community are informational and not determinative. So like all the other factors we're considering, the criteria, the advisory group, um, feedback, it, it is another bit of information to consider as we go through the names and come up with recommendations. Next slide. All right, the December 2nd working group meeting. We will discuss and vote on a preferred name, of ch name choice and two to four alternatives. And if need be, we'll continue discussion and vote on January 13th. We'll receive feedback from the remaining advisory groups. And to vote on the, uh, the preferred name and two to four alternatives, we'll use one of two voting options and we will uh, discuss these later and vote on this later as well. Um, either a simple vote, so you just rank your five names, uh, your five favorites and submit them in the most popular one is the preferred name. The second most popular one is alternative two and alternative one and so on. Um, and then ranked choice voting. Some of you may be familiar with ranked choice voting in Arlington. The school board caucus for the Arlington Democrats uses it. Um, there's a new state law that went into effect this year that which would give um, Arlington County the authority to use ranked choice voting for county board races. Hasn't been, been implemented yet, but it is. it has a different way of um, of handling voting and, and basically you rank your five names and then um, we'd use some sort of tech some sort of software um, or let me back up a second you'd rank your first choice your second choice third choice fourth choice fifth choice and then we'd use software to really figure out how the votes are allocated until first name gets above 50 percent and then real allocate votes to the second and so on we'll discuss it later it's a little more complicated than simply just ranking your first five choices um, next slide. All right, so the three action items tonight, and again, we're going to discuss these um, and get your feedback and then ultimately a vote, is discuss and vote on who administers the rules and creates the criteria report. We'll discuss and vote on draft criteria and rules, and we'll discuss and vote on voting methods for final name recommendation. Next slide. All right, so the first item up to discuss and then ultimately vote on is um, uh, we're going to talk about who administers the rules and creates the criteria report and just one final reminder on this um, the goal here is ultimately who's going to do the work to evaluate the names we received against the criteria and the rules we adopt tonight to have the list um, the criteria uh, criteria report at the October 21st meeting and go through the names that way so that's the goal of what we're talking about right now and uh, go to the next slide so you can see the options again. With that, I will open it up for questions and comments. Um, going through here. I know that was a lot of information, so I'm sure there are a lot of questions and comments. All right, I don't see any hands up, so just feel free to, to jump in if you have a question. Jim Todd had his hand up. Hi there. Uh, sorry, I had my hand up. It's dark in my screen. Sorry about that. Uh, I just wanted to throw out sort of a blended suggestion for the three different group options, which is rather than put all the pressure on uh, either the steering committee or a subcommittee to narrow it down to 20 names, is give them the job of just narrowing it down to 40 names, perhaps, and then the full working group could narrow it down to 20 names from there. So that way everyone has some input uh, as we get to 20, but, uh, and it puts a little less pressure on the steering committee or the subcommittee. So just want yeah. to put an option. Can, can I actually just, we didn't want to put, Jim, you're absolutely right. We went through some exercises and we thought we could get it down to 50 and then have the group, but we didn't, we kind of just need to see how big the list is. And so you're absolutely right. Like our, we didn't, we didn't think we were going to come back with 20 names. We thought we would come back more with 50. And then, but you could see the report. So we would come back with a report with the, um, those 50 um, with their criteria, criteria evaluation. And then we're hoping to do real-time surveys during the next working group 
that could then take those 50 or 40 or whatever it is and get it down. And we may have to do it twice. That's what we're kind of thinking. So it, we don't e exactly have the details worked out for the next meeting, but you are dead on. Thank you. And I have a question, Ginger and Matt, and that is um, as you are evaluating these names that are being submitted, are the people submitting them giving you the information that enables you to evaluate whether the individual or the flora or fauna or whatever, but particularly with an individual, whether um, that meets your standards. Because if you have to do all that research, first you may be missing what caused the individual or the group to propose that name. And secondly, um, it, it I just think it's an awful lot of work with the volume of names you're going to be getting. Uh, I, I mean, I think that you're right. It's, it's a lot of work, but I think that it's actually fairly interesting. I've looked up more historical figures than I can tell you in the last week um, and, and on definitions of words. And so I think some of them speak for themselves. I haven't come up with maybe any that I'm like, ooh, what's that? Um, so. I think we can do a, at least a surface. Are we going to get the deep meaning that the person who submitted it? Maybe not. We, we will probably from the NAACP's names, but we might not get it from the individuals. But I do think it's worth taking the time on our part to define it um, and, and make sure that everybody gets to see it and then at least do a first pass through the criteria evaluation. I think we owe it to people that took the time to submit the names. And just to add to Ginger, um, the majority of people that do submit names, whether if it's not obvious, like Barack Obama, um, they will, for the most part, they submit an explanation of who the person is and why, or the thing is or the street or whatever it is and why they think um, it matters uh, to be included on the list. Um, but just to sort of reiterate, uh, the people that will be narrowing this list down, um, the idea is to do that mostly based on these suggested rules because they're very objective. Um, and then the criteria will be used more as a, a guide for the discussion following the, the, the culling of that initial list. Uh, I have a question. How many people are on the steering committee? Uh, right now, there's six. Thank you. I saw Mike's hand is up. Yeah, Matt, could you go back to, I think it's the second or third slide. Um, which which uh, topic are you looking for? Oh, are, are, are you, um, are you yeah, Maya, yeah, Maya's, the, Maya's driving. So, this talks about the um, the role of the steering committee. So it's second or third or something like that. So I'm reading the definition of the role of the steering committee, and in my mind, that does not uh, con conform to all the work that has been going on and the the creation of the selection criteria and the rules. Um, I'm wondering if you could provide some further explanation on the role of the steering committee. Does anyone on the steering committee want to jump in or do you want me to take a shot at it? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, you know, normally a process like this would be taken on by the county um, and for lots of reasons we're doing it and so um, having a group and doing a major public outreach is um, a lot of work um, with only two paid staffers so we do uh, we are in many ways doing the work that's county staff is doing in a process like this and it is very um, normal for staff to think through processes and to think through criteria 
before you get to a working group meeting um, where there's 25 people on board. So I have everything that we're presenting to you is a draft. Um, so I think our rule, our role is administrative and yes, it's also thoughtful. Um, but I, I, I don't know what you, what are you asking? So um, by um, writing the, the steering committee, writing the selection criteria and the steering committee writing the rules, I, I would prefer that that be done by the whole working group members and not the, the group of six. Um, I think that is more fair, open and transparent for the, the working group to do their work and come up with these criteria. Yes, it is a lot of work. It's messy. It's hard. But in my mind, the working group should be doing that, not not the subset set of the working group, which is only six people. So I be interested in hearing other working group members are ready to scrap the credit and rules. This is Lauren. Um, I do have a couple of questions that piggybacks off what Mike is saying. I um, do agree um, to some point. Um, actually, I kind of see both sides, but I do agree to some point that I think that the working group um, should um, have more say, but I think that we are getting it. I think what maybe the steering committee is doing is trying to give us a foundation for us to work off of, so then we can come back in and change it. And I believe, what I think is happening is now, now that they've given us this foundation, we have the power to change something that the steering group has proposed to us. Right. We can add and take off or change as needed. And so if that's how this is working, that's, I think, my interpretation. But if that's how this is working, then my second point would be I prefer for the steering committee for the steering committee or the subcommittee, whoever it is, to I think that the work group should handle all names. I know that's, <laughs> that might be a lot of work um or it, it might be taking it might be a lot of time that we're going to put in place or maybe we're going to have to have two meetings i'm not sure but i'm thinking just to mike's point um to be more transparent with the full group um maybe that's what we want to do to make sure that we hear everyone's voice um so anyways i i think that's what you're saying mike i don't know if that's what you're saying and if i messed up sorry yes I, I um i really appreciate your comments and um whenever you have a small group um which is a subset um establishing rules and criteria um I'm, i personally don't think that's a good method of doing that that's my personal opinion i think jeff joseph had a had a comment well, I just want to respond real fast. Um, so, you know, I want to reiterate, reiterate what Ginger said that everything that's brought to the working group from the steering committee is draft in draft form. So, anything can be changed, anything can be added to, anything can be removed. There have been no decisions made at any steering committee meeting. And, you know, just think of how any other group meets. I mean, in Congress, you have subcommittees who do, uh, you know, the first cut of the work, they send it to the full committee and they can reject it, accept it, so on. Um, and you know, the Civic uh, Federation has subcommittees and committees, right? And they bring it to the full Civic Federation. So it's, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the grunt work, <laughs> it's the administrative work, it's a lot of time and it's producing documents and recommendations in draft form that the working group can do whatever it wants. Yeah. To process and perhaps a suggestion. Um, so to be clear, there's this currently a set of rules that exist, right? No, we're, well, just to, we have, yeah that we're in the very next section, their draft and work. Okay. We're gonna talk about them next. So we'll, so this group will help set rules, correct? Right. Correct. So once we set those rules, then one suggestion is that of the 140 names, the steering committee will compare those names to the rules and that'll be sort of a first cut. Is that correct in terms of process? So if that's the case, that seems reasonable. And uh, we establishing rules the committee will take a first cut and say, these don't meet those rules, we'll pull those out, but bring the totality of the names back so those that don't meet. So if there are names that the working group wants to reconsider or wants more information on, we can at least see that list. The least we've done, and this working group will set those rules that the committee will work by. Correct again in process? 
Correct. Exactly. So that seems to be effective and efficient and still gives this working group um, a say. We're setting the rules to we get to review the total list of names so we can see those that were accepted and those that didn't meet the rules. And if we have questions or their names we like, we can ask for more clarification at that point. Can I ask? I just have one question. I agree with Jeff. I, I just have one question. The subcommittee, because it's either or, either we're going to have a steering committee that windows down or maybe a subcommittee that dwindles down, right? It's not one or the other. It, well, it sorry, it is one. So, there are th three options, three options to narrow down. The other, the other uh, small suggestion that I'd like to make would be um, I, I want to suggest using approval voting for um, taking the list and calling it down to a smaller list. Um, you can look it up online what approval voting is, but if anyone's used a, a doodle poll to decide on when to have a meeting, you're using approval voting. So it's a good method of taking a large list and just throwing things off that you just don't approve of. So it's not ranking or deciding what should be your first choice. It's basically deciding what is unacceptable for you as you- Mike, do. that's that's what our, we're planning on doing. When we say the survey, we're, we're working through exactly how that works, but our, our, our objective is to, to reduce, like take out the ones that nobody wants first and then spend so, that's kind of where we're going. And, and again, just to Sorry. reiterate, Ginger just said uh, the survey we're putting together, it's approval voting. You pick 10 names or 12 names or whatever it may be, and then, uh, or 20 names, whatever again the number may be. And then we will use that method to call the list ultimately. The, the goal of the meeting on the 21st, and whoever does the, the lifting between now and then, whether the steering committee or the subcommittee or the full working group, is to take the first cut of evaluating the names against the criteria we adopt tonight and also the rules we adopt tonight that's all and then we present that to the working group and go from there can, can sorry we, i don't know if you us. can could i don't know if you all can see oh my goodness i'm sorry could there no, be a combination ahead. of steering committee and subcommittee to make a committee instead of having one or the other could yeah that's add? number two that's, that's the idea. It would be this. The subcommittee would be steering committee members. Um, I'm a steering committee member and um, working group members who volunteer. I don't know what else to say. Point of order. Yeah, go ahead. Can we just can we just please have either someone who's physically looking at hands that are raised or who's physically looking at the Zoom raised hand? We've got more than 25 people on the call. I've had both raised and I didn't get response. So if we can just have a, 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 a clear procedure, please. Yeah, we tried the raise hand last week. It didn't work. So that's why we were trying to. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's excessive now. Yeah, and, and I think I it's because we're sharing screens. Yeah, and I can only see six people at a time in my list, so. So Maya, you may need to be the one that calls because I can't see everybody at once. So I think you're the administrator. So if you want to just shout out when someone has um, their hand raised, either on the screen or as a participant, or like on the raise hands. Does that work, Maya? Yeah. Yeah, I, with, the, with the shared screen, I can't, I can't see it either. Okay, sorry, Anika. So, so Jeff Joseph currently has his hand up. I, I did have a question. I was just stretching, sorry, to be clear. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, though. Um, just as we're talking about um, the role of the uh, steering group in administering the rules, could you just take us back real quick to the slide that had what the rules were? I was just curious as to how objective those rules actually are. See, I think that rule one, rule three, and rule five are very objective. I think rule two, having looked at most of the names, I, you know, I think it is pretty clear what you're getting at. Um, rule four, I, you know, I'm wondering whether, 
for me would be that would be the issue that um especially if it's a steering group that is making the decision you know without the working group there that an element of subjectivity comes into that so that that uh, that would be my my concern but i guess if you if you're going to give us the full list and then you're going to say we winnow down these ones for this reason to give us a chance to agree or disagree maybe that's uh, that will mitigate that a little bit but you know th there is a thing like rule one rule five and rule three that i would be very happy with the steering committee just doing and we don't even have to think about that because you know that that's very objective but you know maybe then for the others i don't know sure so we're going to go over each one of them in detail in, in just a second um and we'll have the opportunity to comment and, and absolutely and, and add or subtract whatever yeah. that's next i think right now we're talking about the process so anika has her hand up just wondering if this uh deck could be and these kinds of decks that have lots of we may not have this again but if we could have this uh in advance or even like right now i don't think i have this one we were finishing it that's i understand <laughs> i completely I think, understand i think uh um, maya just posted it to the internet or put it did you post it to the website it is if anybody wants to um it will be posted to the website right after this meeting um we were making edits right up until we started the meeting this evening so yes in, in advance we're gonna we'll put together the the report before okay and then i would agree with um minna's you know the the general like comment that minna's making the idea that the steering committee could deal with really like objective issues and and delineate and kind of weed out based on that but you know if you're going to share the list share the list um but really the objective things would be great to have pulled out and the idea i think is that then we are able to have really robust discussion and we are a representative group and i think that's what the community wants to to would want to ensure that a, a representative group is fully involved in the decision or the really, really the, the decision and discussion, discussion and decision process. So do we want to vote on the three options? Yeah, that's that's the first thing we have to vote on is the process for who's going to do the work between now and October 21st for again evaluating the criteria to the name. Um, so I think it makes sense to vote on that now, and then we'll talk about the rules and criteria right after this. All right, so I think the way we're gonna do this, and Maya, I'm gonna need, need your help, because again, I can't see, oh, now I can't see. Um, so we're gonna go through each option and raise your hand if you, some more, if you support the option I'm talking about at that moment. So option one is the steering committee uh, takes the first cut. Raise your hand. I have my hand up, Matt. Okay. And Paul? Yeah, I have my hand up. Okay. okay so. How many do we have, Maya? Can you tell? One, two, three. Diane, did you have your hand up? Okay. All right, everyone um, keep your hand up. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't. And Sandy, you have your hand up. And yes, Paul, you I have do. Your hand up. Yep. One, two, three. Ten. Ten. Okay. Then option two which is the steering committee and then um, any working group member who volunteers to participate. One, two, three, four, five. 
I believe not. Oh, man. Andy, is your hand up? Yes, it is. Okay, so I have Jim Todd, Jeff Joseph, Andy Rude, Ginger Brown, Minna Kane, Mike Hogan, Lauren Harris, Richard Price, Sandra Green, Wilma Jones, 10. <laughs> all right, then the final option is working group. So the working group does, uh, does all that work. Mike Cantwell and Nico Quinana. And I believe that's, is that Lynn? Three. Yes. So what was the? So I think we missed okay. two people. Can we do the first one like, one more time for steering committee? Okay, so everyone got, raise your hand for the first choice. I've got my hand up. Okay, Matt, are you changing your vote? Yeah, I'm changing this the working group one. Or sorry, the um, subcommittee one. Okay, so we have Tom. So Elaine. I'm sorry. Can we can we please repeat the question? Make sure everybody. Yes. So raise your hand if you are voting for the first option. The steering committee narrows down the list. Okay. So we have Maya, Tom, Ben, Julius, Grace, uh, Diane, Ben, <laughs> Paul, and Sandy. Yep. Okay, so that is nine. And the second option is the steering committee plus any working group member who wants to participate. Okay. Can we vote Jim? twice? Second one is No. <laughs> I like this one better. <laughs> I'm changing my vote if you can't see that. I know, me too, me too, I changed too. I, 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 I. Okay, everyone raise your hand who wants to vote. <laughs> changing okay, my vote, changing my Jim, vote. Jim, Jim, Matt, Tom, Anika, Jeff, Elaine, Ginger, Minna, Ben, Julius, mm -hmm. Lauren, Lynn, Sandra, Mike, Richard, Wilma, and Andy, I believe. Yeah, my, my hand's up, yep. Okay, so that is, from what it seems, a majority. How, how many was it, just for the minutes? Uh, 22. Okay. <laughs> Pretty decisive. <laughs> Maybe we hey, realized that- Can, can, can I make a quick suggestion? Thing. If we're gonna do votes, can we do a roll call? It would be so much easier than having people turn on and off their It'd be easier to turn off your mics than it is to turn on your 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 video screen. It's just and it would be so much right. faster. Okay, we talked. We weren't sure what would be the best method, but we can change that and give it a try next. We have two more votes coming. So yeah, we initially thought calling in everyone would take longer. <laughs> you we're, were not right. So yeah. Another option is to vote in the chat. You just write yes or no in the chat, and then you can then you have it right there. Not a good idea. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah I, prefer, Ginger, I like that idea. Yeah. Ginger? If we can do that moving forward. Um, right, uh, JD. JD. Yeah. yeah, so is there, you guys don't have the poll option here on, um, on Zoom? Do you have the poll option? Uh, they would have had to set it up in advance. Poll yeah, JD, a chat is just as easy. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah. And, I, and I then agree. they can screenshot it and have a record. Yeah, exactly. I agree with Rich. There has to be a better way to do this. Okay. <laughs> no we'll do better next time. Yeah. <laughs> Apologize. All right, um, so it sounds like everyone is uh, okay with putting your vote in the chat right now? Going forward, I mean. Okay. Okay, great. No. Yes. All right, great. Well, we'll do that. And thanks for your patience as we uh, work through that vote. Okay, Maya, uh, pull up the slides again. And we'll be in touch shortly about when to set up um, a time and meeting for people to join us uh, to go through the names and the criteria in the coming weeks. Okay, um, so I guess go 
down a bunch of slides after the last vote slide? Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, moving on, we're gonna discuss um, the process for voting on criteria and rules. Um, so just a reminder, next slide, what this is. So the suggested rules, and we already had a little bit of discussion about this. Um, these are the five, I'm not gonna reread them, but these are the five suggested rules that would be used to really weed out names quickly and efficiently. And again, this is a draft. We want your feedback and, you know, and vote on ultimately what the working group wants to do. And then next slide. And then the revised criteria, which again is the criteria you saw before, minus the uh, criteria the name not be named after another street in Arlington, and the criteria that the um, the name could work in all four jurisdictions where Lee Highway goes through right now. Otherwise, it's the same criteria uh, that you saw the last couple of weeks. So, with that, open it up to your discussion for your thoughts on the on the draft criteria and the draft rules. And then Maya, I, I, I'll ask you to keep an eye on who's raising their hand because I can only see six people at a time. Sure, I saw Anika raise her hand first. Thanks Maya. Um, so the word all is getting to me in the first name is welcoming to all people in business. I'm looking at the, obviously the criteria. Um, it's just so subjective and I get the desire to for for equity and to be equitable um but i think just by name is welcoming to the name is welcoming i mean what are we i guess it's the discussion what is it that we are trying to capture in that is that it's representative of community and business or welcome you know what is what is behind that I'm always up for shortening. <laughs> and I think we would just wanted to make sure that um, you know, they included, it was, it's welcoming to all that we're, that we think about equity and we think about sensitivity and, mm. but the name is welcoming is, does anyone, I'm, I'm fine with shortening it. Does anyone else? I like the idea of welcoming to all and I would leave out you know, the rest of it, or name is welcoming. I don't think we need to say people and businesses. Name is welcoming, I love that. Mike? If you leave the word all in, then if there's one person in Arlington that is offended by the name, then you it automatically has to uh, not meet the criteria. That's what the word all means, every single person. Lauren? I, I was just going to say what Mike said. I agree. I think we just say name is welcoming to people and businesses. Richard. Um, I, I agree with name is welcoming is a, a good way of shortening it. Um, all people after watching last night's uh, presidential debate debacle, um, frankly, if it's not welcoming to the proud boys, thumbs up. So welcoming is fine. Maya, do you wanna go to, so you can um, edit it in real time so that when we have something to vote on? Yes, I was just about to do that as soon as, as soon as we were ready to vote. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can right. you look to the, I'm sorry. So we'll, should we just focus on the criteria? Uh, not the rules yet. It's the criteria for now. Well, actually, it's so related. Can you just flip back to the rules real quick? So, so you know, we talked, I know we're focusing on criteria, but it's somewhat relevant. So we have the number four, which we may be, we may have a discussion about whether that's too subjective or not. But I, maybe it's a rule that it, that it shouldn't be, you know, a racial or ethnic slur. 
I mean, it should be, I, I, know, I mean, it should be obvious, but maybe it won't be, right? I mean, and that's sort of the intent behind the welcoming piece, right? So maybe we should have a hard and fast rule that says that it's, you know, it's not offensive or, again, that's maybe a little subjective, right. but something that addresses that, that concern. Because I think that's what we're trying to get with, with welcoming, right? And it should be a rule that it, you can't call it whatever highway. Right. Or, like you can't use highway either. You can't call it whatever boulevard or road or street. I think the insensitive, hurtful, or divisive. There's some other ones that are like, maybe those are jokes, but S Snowflake Boulevard, or there are some obvious j jabs at political parties. Yeah, I, I think that um, I, I, I agree with Jeff that if, if we should just come out and say it, the name cannot be a slur, an ethnic racial slur. You know, with, to be specific what we're talking about. Because I think that insensitive, hurtful, divisive, sometimes that's open to interpretation. Uh, you know, as Mike is you know, suggesting, it can be open to interpretation. But I think that we can get at what we mean by saying that we don't want it to be a racial slur. Um, without, um, yeah, divisive, I think to me, is, is very tricky because there are people who are gonna think that it, yeah, you know, that, that brings up things that we may not, that's less objective. Maya, does everyone agree with that? Should we just change that? I agree. We say their um, name is welcoming. Keep the welcoming part of it. I understand the insensitivity and other things. I also understand that this is Virginia and there may be people who have very different ideas than maybe I do. Um, but I, some people may say that they're hurt, just like they're hurt by taking down certain statues and things. I'm not hurt by that, but, um, welcoming has a different, more positive, or if there's a word that's more positive. Mike Hogan. So I had a question about, it seems like we're talking about rules and criteria interchangeably and it seems like we're getting ready to apply them the same to names so I, i'm i guess i would ask what's the difference between a rule and a criteria mostly it was um practical because we would we were going to be um you know we want to we want to find names that we actually want to discuss and we thought the criteria were more discussion points and the rules were more you know, maybe we don't need to spend the time of you know, 25 professionals discussing. Are there ways that we could just call the list quickly when we have 200 names? So it was really the point was, what's a practical way to reduce the list and use the group's time wisely? But it seems like we're using them interchangeably. The only actual rule and rules is consider names separately. Um, and some of the criterion were actually rules, like it can't be named after another street in Arlington. So, sure. you know, we, we can either join them together or define a difference, but I don't know if it makes sense to have two groups of criterion and, and name them. So, well, how about we do the rules first? Sandy, do you want to talk about the Lee one? Um, maybe also the highway one. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would have put under the rules, the highway as well. So there would have been six rules here, actually. Um, the, the Lee one, I mean, we are, we are tasked with removing, um, the word Lee, Lee highway. So I would like to see, and I think this is the thoughts of the steering committee that we simply reduce the list by getting rid of the names that are Lee. Um, I think there are names that are more of a joke than are listed here. There, there are names that are more racially offensive than are listed here. So I think the rules really are a way, as Ginger said, to cull the list relatively objectively. The criteria is another matter, and that requires a lot more discussion of the working group, I think. But I would have six rules here. So the highway would also be a rule here. That highway would not be used. 
just like Lee would not be used. I'm just uh, adding, building on to what you're saying, um, and the question that was asked about do we need both rules and criteria, we're using it interchangeably, are they the same thing? To me, the difference was how objective it is. And I do think that, that I think I said this before, number one is very objective, so you can make that a rule because it means if the name has it, it doesn't appear, that's really objective. Uh, number five is uh, it's also objective, we'll consider the thing separately. And number three is also objective, the name is not in use somewhere. So those are three rules that can be applied objectively. The others, I, I think, are criteria, even though they're very important criteria and some of them are very obvious, um, whether the name is a joke or not, or whether the name is insensitive, hurtful or divisive. I think if we say the name cannot be an ethnic, an ethnic slur or racial slur, that makes it slightly more objective because most of us, I think, have a, a similar understanding on what that is. But to me, uh, th that's, that's what I would look at and either put those as criteria or figure something else to do with that. But the, the solid ones, number one, number three, and number five, I, 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 I see a difference there. Maybe, you know, it's my legal training I've worked as a lawyer for 27 years. So for me, you know, that I, I, I like rules and, you know, that's what I think of as a rule. It's subjective. Everybody's agreed on it. We know what it is. We don't have to argue over it. The others, you know, we, you know, we may, what well, feels like a joke to me, maybe that serious to you and vice versa. So I think, but, but Monet, the, the word highway would also be a rule. I, I, mean, I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree so, with we, you. Well, yeah. so we can change that yeah. now. So in real time, so we can put, um, we can change name is not insensitive to name is not a racial slur. So That's number four. Number yeah. four, change it. Racial or ethnic or racial discriminatory. Ethnic. I mean, these are, these are all ways of describing that. Cultural. Right. Um, racial, racial, ethnic, ethnic sexual. cultural slur. Yeah, homophobic, yeah, whatever. We, we yeah. can work on that language, but slur, I guess, is the, the I mean, opposite. I don't want to say, but sexual slur, like, I don't want perverted names. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we, so we'll agree that they will be, that the group will look at, and we Gender. can, but more later, we can add them um, that are obvious. But, so six, but, six but, then is does not include question? the name highway, right? I think if we're going to do highway, we should probably also. So Sandy, do you want to talk about why you would <laughs> why I would remove highway? Yeah. Well, because I don't think highway has anything to do with the kind of placemaking that we're trying to do under the uh, comprehensive planning process that we're involved in. Um, when you consider a place, you think of it very differently when you think of it as a highway as, a play, as opposed to more of a main street, a place where you stop, a place where you linger, where you shop, etc. It's just a very different meaning and planning. So LHA has always had as one of the goals of this, at least on the steering committee, to try to remove Lee and highway and to try to have a more descriptive name of a place that's welcoming on all levels, welcoming racially, welcoming as a as placemaking as well. Um, so um, Sandy? Yeah. I saw uh -huh. Anika's hand up. Oh, I'm sorry. You're Anika, mute. you're on mute. Oh, I was just saying, I think I got it in. I cheated and just spoke out. Yeah. Lee, highway and Lee should be gone, but then there, that's also in the criteria. But I think that that's objective and really based on what uh, Sandy just shared in terms of placemaking, it makes a ton of sense and should just kind of be objectively removed. So, so make it as a rule? Yes. Okay. But I think um, we this is This is well my... Um, do I Sorry. need to put my hand up on the Sorry. in the app or on video or <laughs> your actual hand up? <laughs> okay. Um, I we have people who have sent in 
um, suggestions and they have included highway at the end because I don't think that they've read everything where it said that we were going a, a opposed to highway. So is there a way to look at some of the names that have been proposed that have highway at mm -hmm. the end? That, oh, yes. that. that could yes. be other options? So yeah. yeah that is a rule at number five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wilma, all of those names will be considered. It, they just, we just are lopping off highway and oh, just okay. keeping, keeping the names. Yeah, Thank if you, you see you it, there, it's, yeah, number five, yeah. Thank okay, Richard, you. I'm sorry. I'm looking just, at this on I just small wanted screen. to confirm what number five says, and I think Sandy just said it. Yeah, it just means. I think this process, I, I think if we're asking for names, you know, I don't, if someone says, you know, I want to be John J. Lewis Highway, to me that, you know, I think that's an absolutely valid name to be introduced and to be debated part, as part of this project, this process. Um, I agree. I think everything, if it's Boulevard, if it's street, if it's Main Street, you, you just got to lop off everybody's personal uh, designation. And I think the next step after we decide on what the what I'm going to call the, the the actual name is going to be, and then what the designation is going to be, should be added on as a, afterwards. I don't think it should be, you know, all one thing. Well, we're going to do. I don't think we should. We're ready for that. I think we need to decide first the complicated process, which is, you know, what do we actually want to be the name, and then follow it up with what's a what's what's the right? Should it be drive? Should it be Boulevard? Should it be street? And, and then go from there. Just to avoid the highway, getting a high, you know, if it's got a highway on it, avoid having to wipe out the entire name, take it right. off of everything. So whether it's proposed as street or Boulevard or this, take that off and debate that. Well, that's the, Richard, that's the intent of the rule five, just, which is basically if you get John Lewis Highway, we would still consider John Lewis. Right. No, no, I just want to make sure that's the case. That's yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I want to make sure that's the case. But okay. but I think we haven't responded to Manet's. I thought she said on suggested rule number two that we should be considering all of these names because who's to determine if it's a joke? Did I hear that incorrectly? That's what I was saying, that some of these things are criteria and some of them are pretty obvious. So that, that to me is almost, I don't know whether you want to put it a third category. They can be a bunch of stuff that you said, you know, these are clearly jokes and we'll all look at it and agree with you for 99% of them, but they may be the 1% of them, you know, I don't know. I think the point I was making is that some things are clearly rules and we can dispose of them. And I think we've done that for all of those. And then some are criteria that we're going to spend lots of time talking about. And there, there's a different thing for that. Something like, is the name a joke or not? I think we'll probably all agree 90% of the time, but maybe not 100% of the time. Right, so maybe number two should move off of rule. Yes, and it can be a criteria that, you know, when whoever the subcommittee or the steering committee comes back to the working group, you can have the 10 names that say, we have flagged these as being inappropriate or a joke, and then we can take two seconds to agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Maya, can you uh, move Jim, that? Um, yes, I was just going to call on Jim Todd. I don't know if anyone, if others agree with that idea. Jim? You're, on, you're muted. <laughs> I have a question about the revised criteria, if you could go back to that screen. I think we should go, yeah. Yeah, can we, uh, we can take care of the rules, the rules. We the rules. Yeah. We're about to wrap up the rules. Can we just go to that next, Jim? Of course. Just one second. Of course. So let's move number two to the criteria. Yeah. Does anyone have any proposed new rules so we can just finish it? Yeah. I just would like to ask that I didn't, I didn't see what was just said about number five and maybe just clarify, consider names separately consider so, names only or something okay, like so that. We've had a lot of names like John Lewis Highway, John Lewis Boulevard, John Lewis Road, John Lewis. And so we just want to make sure that if we have a rule that says remove highway, that we don't remove the first part too. 
so that John all I'm saying, all I'm saying is consider names own. I didn't, I didn't realize that by saying separate or consider names separately, we were only considering names. I, I didn't, I didn't realize that. So just to, just to clarify, oh, word what names saying. versus words. Yeah, name as as in John Lewis, or name as in the name of the. Oh, what we're Can actually saying is that we're. Yeah. What we're actually saying is that we're considering names only. So to uh, the gentleman's point, I'm sorry, I'm on my phone so I can't see names tonight. Um, we're not considering Boulevard Drive, Main Street. We're not, we're not even dealing with that. We're considering names only. For now. Is that right? Yeah, for now. And then when we come back at the very end, after we picked the first, let's call them first and second names. <laughs> after we pick the first name, then we'll come back and decide should it be an avenue or a boulevard. Yeah. The yeah. Al although to comment on that quickly, the branding committee, because they'll be probably looking at some alliteration, so they might be coming on commenting on that to the working group. And that's completely fair. But these are the rules for now. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 We yeah. just don't want to eliminate any good names if they picked highway to go with them. Right. Mike Hogan. And I'm trying to be helpful to the process here, and hopefully this moves it along a little bit. But so it sounds like the way we're applying this, and back to the difference between rules and criteria, if it if it violates any of the now five rules, it's out. The criteria we intend to use as a numerical judging process saying this one complied with six, this one got five, this one got four, and ranking them that way. Um, I think that makes sense generally with regard to the rules and the criteria and the difference, but, um, and as we move to criteria, may, maybe this is a good segue. Uh, if you rank them by how many it complies with, that, that weights every, each criterion the same. And uh, mm -hmm. I think we may wanna have a brief discussion about whether some are more important than others, because meeting six versus meeting five, you may have a better name that meets five, but wasn't suggested by a business owner, which is one of the criteria. So I'm just trying to get a process that gets us to the right place. Yeah, Mike, Mike, we can wait criteria. That's an easy thing to do later if, if people want to. Bill. When we have suggested rules for ourselves, in our group, have we gone to the people above us who are going to make the recommendations to the state? And have we gone to the state folks? And are there things that the board just is not going to accept? Is there something the state's not going to accept? And would those entities be of assistance in guiding us in coming up with these rules? The answer is uh, not at this time, and that's why we're picking three to five. Um, to, to just follow up on that though, so we have been talking to Katie Crystal as LHA's board liaison. She's very familiar with the process that we're recommending, the working group, et cetera. So she, she keeps up with this every time we have a working group meeting, but she has asked us, the county board has asked us not to talk to the CTB members um, at this time. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah. Ben Keeney, is your hand up? It was, yes, and I, I um, let me try, yeah, okay. So now it's lower digitally. Okay, so I think there's a lot of conversation that we can have about if the name does or does not include the highway. And I think it, it could be misleading. It could actually take us on a wild goose chase to have this conversation. I think at the end of the day, VDOT is going to tell us if they do or do not want the highway to be classified as a highway or something. Very specifically, I know for sure it's not going to be classified as a road. Is it a highway? Is it an avenue? Is it a boulevard? That's, this is a conversation that I think is separate. So I think when, when, when beautiful ideas like John Lewis highway might arise, we need to make it very clear that John Lewis is, is point number one and highway is completely separate. 
And I think that the suggested rules category, there, there might be something that we could, we could find a little bit to make sure that's clear or not. I think also um, the, uh, the one about it not being a joke, maybe there's something a little more pressing to say it's not, it's not laughable, <laughs> but, but it's not, but it's serious. It, it has gravitas, it, it inspires like specific thought, stress of idealism or something like that. But talking about a joke is that's, that's a minor detail. But I think the, the highway thing is something that is going to be a D dot thing. It's very technical. Is it a highway? Is it a boulevard? We'll find out. Um, so, Maya, can you can you correct this just to so that we have the rules before we go to the criteria? Sure. Are we are these the set rules that we are agreeing on? Well, just so people know I, what the final list is. I have a question. This is Sandra. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have a. a um, Revision for number four. I'm having a problem with the word slur. So I'd like to recommend that we say something like name is not a, is not racially, culturally, sexually, or ethnically offensive. Instead of using the word slur. I agree, Sandra. Good catch. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I see that too. Like that, thank you. I agree. Any other changes? Jeff? Uh, uh, maybe I missed this, but I thought we agreed to change the language on four as, I think it was Anika, is that correct, to, suggested? Maybe we just, I don't know if we missed that edit. Yeah, I agree. I think we are supposed to change language on four. Yeah. So what was the exact? Um, so, I don't remember. So the it. idea was consider names only, or I'm not sure. It's it's so ambiguous. Or, or, the maybe it's the consider, but consider names only, so that we're not considering uh, the street drive, so on. Right, the byways, whatever you call it. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what I think that's our charge, that. right? Uh, our, I think what we talked about was considering names and then separately later mm -hmm. considering the designation of what kind of road it is um i, I would suggest this, I is, this is this is these are the rules for right now that's what we said earlier these are the rules for right now and maybe it sounds like there's going to be other rules we're creating later for that part of it i'm not 100 percent sure so but so that so to clarify that, maybe we could say consider names separately from from road types. Yeah, that's, that's I think perfect. That's, that's, that's 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 thank point. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> consider names I, and designation. I, I think we all agreed on that. <laughs> <laughs> we just hadn't changed the wording. Thank you. So, so. Sandy, could you say that one more time? Consider names separately from road types. Okay, I saw Paul had his hand up. No, I'm all set. I was going to, Sandy has my suggestion, okay. but yeah. Okay. Are we good on the rules? Sorry. I'm sorry. Jeff. Just, just to, again, to be clean. So then do we need number five? If, if does number four cover number five, just to be clear. That's well, awesome. I don't think so. Yeah, I think Jeff oh. is right. You think it's different? Number five. Because, because we know we're definitely not having a highway. Okay. Is that why? Correct. It sounds like that. that. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, thank yeah. you. Okay, so are we, everyone is agreed. These are the suggested, these yeah, are now taking off number our five. rules. We're, take, we're taking off number five, right? It's, it's. What do you mean we're taking it off? I think that number You don't need, need it. It's irrelevant. irrelevant. Right. No, no, that's the discussion we literally just had. Um, because we know that we can't specifically use highway, so that's different from Boulevard Road or whatever. So I do think we need that's a hard fast rule. But we're not going to exclude anything because no one's saying highway, highway. Right, but that's what right. we're before. But we're just not going to use highway at the end of the day 
the name will not include highway, hopefully, at the we end of the day. We will not recommend highway. Yeah. I think what we stand behind. We will not recommend for the second name. For right, second yeah. Name. So we're good. Or yeah. are we going to are we going to take a formal vote on this? Yeah, we need a motion to. Or wait, 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 why don't we vote on the? Why don't we get the criteria done and then do a vote because it takes on both. <coughs> okay. I feel like we should do one at a time. One yeah, of the I reasons this was so at, challenging okay. is because you presented honestly in no shade, but just everything was presented at once. So let's yeah. just get yeah. this one out. Yeah. Yeah, let's vote. All right, I need a motion. Second. No, sorry, that you're making a motion. I, I move to. I, 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 yeah, I, I move, move to, to vote, vote on the on the rules as provided on the PowerPoint. Right. So now. moved. Second. Okay. Then everyone vote in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yay. To all panelists or all panelists and attendees? I would do all panelists. Oh, somebody voted in both. All right, it appears we have a majority. I don't think we have any no's. So I think the rules pass. Okay. All right, criteria. So the name is welcoming. How do we feel about, did we agree on that one? Name is welcoming, full stop. Right. Yep. Good catch. We were going to add the, the, the joke, what was then the joke rule to the criteria, right? And then yeah. we approved it as a rule. <laughs> no, we took it out. We okay. took it out. Good. Yeah. I think we can put maybe the name is not frivolous. Good word. Yeah. I like that. Not frivolous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. Uh, Jim. I have a question about what name promotes economic vitality means. That doesn't mean anything to me. So if you could explain that. So I think, Jim, the second part of it is really the important thing, that it effectively brands the corridor. You know, there are all kinds of rules for branding. Um, so when the branding committee meets, they'll probably go through that process. Um, you, you wouldn't have a name, for example, that nobody could remember how to spell. That would be one. Um, there's alliteration that some people might want to take into account, things like that. OK, so I understand we don't want to say Skid Row. But other than, other than that name, couldn't we just then skip the first part and just say name effectively brands the corridor? Yes. I agree. Yeah. Agreed. I think that the economic uh, thing came out of our guiding principles, so. Mike Hogan. Uh, there was a criterion last meeting that uh, I know we removed two of them. One of them was um, that the name fits for all four jurisdictions. And my understanding from Katie's remarks is that, that, and from knowing Virginia, that that's a big deal, that it's not likely that the uh, Commonwealth Transportation Board is going to approve a name that doesn't apply throughout. I, I don't think that's a hard and fast binary thing, but I think they would be much more likely to approve one that does. So um, my question is, why was it dropped? What was yeah, the thing? Actually, that the reason it got dropped, um, 
we, I think we did have it as a rule and then we decided that it was too hard and fast and we were going to put it back in the criteria and we didn't. Well, but, but also to comment on that. So uh, false church's name is Washington street and I don't think they have any interest in changing it. So if we wanted to be in accord with that jurisdiction, we would be naming ours Washington street. Part of the uh, route 29 in Fairfax city is Fairfax Boulevard. I also don't think we probably want to be in accord with that. So I, I think at the end of the day, the reality is that the jurisdictions will have different names. But, but the criteria wasn't that it was the same. The criteria was that it's appropriate for. Well, she, yeah, but she was kind of getting to that it could be used, the same name could be used for all the jurisdictions. Could be. And also we could bypass uh, the community, uh, the Commonwealth Transportation Board, and go right to the General Assembly if we choose. That's what I've read. Yes, yes. So I do think that one of not the, the end all be all. I do think. Thankfully, I mean the reason we another reason we have three to five is so that you know there's obviously some unknowns in in terms of the state. So yeah. having one that works for all of Virginia could be helpful. All right, any other comments on the draft criteria? So are we leaving then, we, we have the word name is not highway as one of the criteria or are we? No, we don't need that anymore because we have it in the rule. But we took, we took it out of the rules as well because we are considering the two things separately. So the rules no longer mm -hmm. refer not to highway. No, it's still there. Oh, no, it is there. Oh, it is there, okay. It's still there, yeah, it's the last rule. So it should come off it the is, other one? It's duplicative, so it, I think, there. Yeah, we don't need it in the highway, in the it, criteria. It the criteria. Okay. Well, Wait, whoa, whoa, go, we yeah, need the rest of that. Go back. Thing. Right, exactly. Thanks yeah, for there was the some yeah. promotes Main Street character. Yeah. That's good The stuff. name promotes yeah. Main Street yeah. character. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And Main Street could kind of be in quotes if it, to, to convey, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't want any freeways either or any silly yeah. Yeah. added. Right, and just to clarify, I think it makes sense to have the name is not a highway in the rules because it's not the same thing as saying we'll consider the uh, names separately from the road typology or typologies because you still have to choose the road typology at the end right. of the day. So right. yeah. um, I think having the additional rule that we don't name it a highway makes sense still. It yes. doesn't need to be criteria. Yeah. Yes. Should should we then say that on that is not highway? You said or freeway, or is that obvious? Well, we said that we're not considering we're considering names, right, and not the boulevard and so on. No, but number five, she's saying the name does not include highway or freeway. Or freeway, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get away from the road typology. So I, I think we could add highway or freeway. They would never, na a, they would never name it freeway because it doesn't yeah. meet the typology. A, a couple of things on this though. We've already approved the rules yeah. and the criteria, the fourth one listed, talks about the Main Street character and the revisioning. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That. Yeah. Those things rule out freeway. So freeway. Yeah, that's right. We could leave it right. there. That's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I don't see any other hands up. And so I I do so I'm just wondering I'm wanting to unpack name reflects community and business property owners input. How does the how does a name do that? So I'm trying to get underneath the, the feeling of it. That's a really good question. So I, I think we were actually I don't know if it criteria is the right place for it. We were actually literally getting their input. <laughs> so um, when so we- So they are part of the advisory groups? Right. They're part of the yeah. advisory groups and we're also doing a business survey. And so we were thinking that after this group um, considers the names and whittles, and whittles them down to 20, that we, then we would do business outreach and then you could, you know, then you would know what the businesses thought of. So, 
when we show them criteria is probably not the place for yeah we, we put it in there because it was in our guiding principles but we could take it out understanding that we are doing business surveys what, what, wait 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 uh, I we have, have an advisory simple, group i have a simple suggestion it's just get change the word reflects to name is the result of and it, it gets your goal across so everyone will know we had community input but right now that we're using the word reflects basically means you're confusing process right with uh with selection and also move name name results from input yes um, instead of flipping it on making it a possessive make it it's distinctive name reflects or oh, sorry name results from the input of community and business slash property owners so what does that look like in a real yeah. in the real world so does that mean i didn't that. pull i didn't pull the name out of my pocket and say hey you know that's the only way that i think that it wouldn't because you all have embedded a process with having yeah. the website and you know everything that this input is already happening so yeah. just, I, I agree. I, it's 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 about the process, and we have it built into the yeah. process. Um, so I'm not sure it needs to be reflected in the criteria because it's naturally part of the process, right? And yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We have guidance yeah. for the process. Yeah. 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 But but and I wouldn't necessarily want to penalize a name either. If just you know if if your neighbor came up with a great name, but it didn't go through a community or business process, <laughs> you don't want them to not get credit as satisfying the criteria, right? necessarily taking it out if everybody's comfortable with that understanding that we are working on getting business and property owner input that, that okay. works too okay are we in agreement yes to remove all right Maya, do we have any other hands up not that I'm seeing. So ben Keeney? Yeah. Yes, Ben. Okay. Um, Wilma? Maybe they're on mute. Wel Wilma? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. Can you see me? Right. Yes. Okay. Calling on you. <laughs> Did you have a comment you wanted to make? No, I was just hands up. Okay. Okay. I, I, I did have a, um, a question for a comment. Um, are we going to vote on the criteria and then decide on how to weight the criteria or are we going to discuss how, because some of these criteria are more important than others and I think we need to discuss what weight we give to each criterion before we actually vote on them as a whole. Are others in agreement with that? I th I think it would make sense to get get come to an agreement on the criteria, and then once we're all on the same page with the criteria is, we can discuss whether to weight the criteria or not, and if we're going to weight it, what the weighting should be. I think that makes sense. Mike Cantwell. I agree with um, Matt's comment. <clears throat> okay, I'm not seeing any other hands up. So should we vote on the All right, criteria? So I move that we adopt the draft criteria as shown on the slides at this moment. Second. Okay, uh, vote in the chat. For some reason, I'm not able to vote in the chat. I don't know why. So I'm voting yes. All right, anyone else? So everyone else has voted yes from so far from what I can tell. All 
All right, I think we definitely have a majority. So we have approved the draft criteria and is now our criteria. So next up for discussion is whether the criteria should be weighted and if so, how we should weight, weight them. So first discussion is, should we weight the criteria? Jim? Jim, you are on mute. Sorry. It's, um, I think this is going to be something that we're going to have to do on the fly with each name. I don't think we can do this in a vacuum. And I think that we may actually find ourselves just drawn to certain names that may not necessarily fit into these boxes uh, super neatly. So I actually think that we're, the weighting is going to kind of happen either organically as we vote, or it's going to happen once we really are looking at the 20 names, then maybe that's what we can, maybe that's the time to do the weighting is once we have, we're down to 20 names. Mm -hmm. But I think it's too hard to do it now. I agree with Jim. I, I, you know, my concern about using a strict numerical to exclude names because they only got met four or five of the criteria in favor of some that met six. Um, you know, I think that's probably not, it's not best to do that as a hard and fast numerical decider for what the name ends up being. Um, but I think weighting the criteria is much more difficult. And that, so we should gather, run each name through the criteria, look at the scores, and then discuss the names on their merits. In, in less of a hard and fast numerical um, calculation. It gives us more flexibility. And I think that agrees with Jim's sentiment. And I would also point out that, you know, when the working group actually makes its final vote on the preferred name and then the two to four recommended, or the two to four alternatives, you know, if I see the, the, the final list of 10 to 12 I'm voting, I'm, I'm voting on, um, you know, I might say, well, my favorite name only got four of the criteria, not five. I think it's really important that this name really exemplifies this criteria. So it's still my number one choice. So at the end of the day, you know, when the working group is voting on the names, it's up to the working group member to decide which criteria means the most to them and whether, you know, the fact that one name satisfies five criteria and the other four means anything to them. I agree. Mike yeah. Cantwell. I agree with all this uh, comments. I, I think it uh, makes things more complex than they need to be. And I'm not sure if it really adds value. And I, I really do think there's going to be some subjective decisions made later that something just sounds better. So, and that's going to be really hard to attach a number to. And I, think, I mean, I'm fine with that. I think I'm, I'm fine with that approach, which I guess from what I'm hearing would be like an informal ranking that we each do. And then so long as we can justify, you know, based on whatever ranking we choose to give these criteria. I mean, there's some of them, like if the name is frivolous, then the, the issue there is agreeing whether or not it is. And if in fact we all agree that it is frivolous, then that it's almost like a rule. We dismiss that. Whereas, and then there's some like, is it welcoming, which is so subjective that that is, you know, that that might be something that's very welcoming to me, it's not welcoming to, to you either, you know, to you, uh, though it's welcoming to me. So I guess if we, yeah, so that would be fine then. We, we're not, we're each of us weighing the criteria in our own minds as part of the discussion that we're having. Um. Sorry, I missed because yeah. I got disconnected. Sorry about that. So it sounds like we're going towards not having a weighted criteria. And I just wanted to be sure, is there any, I, I remember from the first meeting, it was like, doesn't have to be all of them. Um, and understood that. And I wonder, conversely, is there anything here that we would agree that we couldn't live without? There's any one thing, or are they all really the same.
Um, yeah, from, from my perspective, there are a couple that I would like to make sure are included. Um, and so I, I would be good with a weighted, um, you know, criteria, but we're interested to hear what other people have to say. The process. So if we vote to approve these criteria, then they all will be included. Right. It's it's just. Yes. Yeah. We already voted. We approved the criteria. The question now is whether we want to weight them at all. And if so, how much we how we would weight them. Um, so just to finish my comment, um, I, the the public understanding of cultural history and racial equity and the name is relevant to Arlington, Northern Virginia and to place would be ones that would be important for me from a from a weighted criteria perspe perspective. Sandra? Okay. Um, could we do something like, instead of actually weighting the criteria, um, say that the name has to um, support at least four of the criteria or three or six of them, right? You know, the name should include at least four or put a number to that instead of weighting each of them. You know, when, when, a, when there is a, when a name is given as a historic designation in the historic landmark review process, you always see where it says, uh, this this project um, covered seven of the twelve criteria, or yeah. you know they always say they give a number. Lauren, is your hand up? Can't decide yet. Sorry. So could it help go <laughs> someone else? I'm still thinking about my point. Anika, I like what's just been said, but I just wanted to observe the chat that there's the notion that we should vote on whether we should wait. W E I G H T. Yeah, and I, I would agree with that in the interest of time because we're approaching 8.30 pretty quickly and we have another thing to vote on and, and to consider and then vote on. Um, so I would move that we, uh, well. You don't have to is, move, yeah. Yeah. Well, the question is, are we gonna frame as saying move to not weight the criteria or move to weight the criteria? Um, I don't think it really matters, but I can make a suggestion though, Matt. Why don't we W A I T to decide if we want to W E I G H T the criteria based on the number and the extreme competitiveness, if there is such, of the top candidates. I second Diane's motion. Yeah, that's a good idea for the first round. Yeah. Yeah. Just for now, so that we, we don't close the doors. Yeah. Right. I just get Anika. a little concerned about bias in that or some type of, I'm not too sure, but I just think if we wait to see the, if we wait to decide until we've seen some of the, we've already seen some of the entries, I think at the end of the day. Um, I think we should decide. I think we should decide whether or not we wait <laughs> I don't want to wait to wait. Um, uh, I think we should decide whether or not we wait the votes, but I don't think we should vote now on what that should look like. Because I think that's more of a technicality and I don't want to sit here and go around in circles on what the technicality is. I think we should come back with- Why don't we- someone should, If we vote in favor of waiting, then someone should come back with a suggest, one or two suggestions of what that should look like but wait or not to wait not we're going to wait on waiting but wait or not so there's a motion on the floor can you repeat the motion can you repeat the motion it was diane's motion diane do you want to restate it, it? Was Diane's motion. um my my suggestion is that we w a i t to 
W-E-I-G-H-T, these criteria, particularly based on whether we have a large or a small number of what we think are the best candidates. If we have 25, then maybe we need to go to a higher level of specificity that you agree on at that time. And, you know, these criteria can serve as that basis point um, to help us separate, to help us decide, to help us debate on these criteria, who's the best candidate, candidates, who are the best candidates. And, and as an exercise, I'll just suggest that take a name that, uh, that actually you think would be a great name, but only meets one of these criteria. And I think that's why it's really difficult until we have the names in front of us, that we, that we not try to weight them now. And I'll just throw out the example of Barack Obama Boulevard. Um, I think only satisfies one of these criteria. <laughs> and that, that, but that may not be a reason to exclude it. And Jim, if I can add something, there's someone <laughs> I've done research on who is, meets a lot of these criteria and I haven't submitted it yet, Oliver Hill. Um, an attorney and civil rights activist um, from Virginia, had a very long career, died in Virginia, worked on many important cases, including one of the five that led to Brown versus Board of Education. Um, is there a second to this motion? I mean, are we gonna sit here and talk about no, the, the names? No, the point is there are a people that you don't even know about who may meet more of these criteria. So I'd like to vote on a let's wait to wait. So I don't think we need to have a motion to wait. I just think we yeah, don't have a motion. Wait or not wait. Yeah, it, it, I Jim. don't think there's, an, there's a, not a necessity to have a motion because we just would not bring it up. Vote to wait. So no, I don't think we need a vote is what I'm saying. Great. There's no, no requirement to vote on this. We, are just, we just won't bring it up right now. So you're voting to table. Yeah, voting, well, we, or just table. Unless there are folks that want to wait it. Yeah, I'm confused. Mr. Yeah. Diane, do you want to amend your motion and say that you, make, you would like to make a motion to table the discussion of whether we're going to wait the criteria? I would like to make a motion to uh, table this until we know if we want to wait the criteria. Or you can withdraw your motion and we don't have to vote on it. But don't we have to do, make, take some sort of action? Since no, yeah, yeah, the tabling is the threshold question. So we have to second, someone has to second Diane's motion. And if they do that, then we have to vote on whether we're tabling. And if we don't table it, we have to vote on whether we're waiting criteria or not. So second to table. Right. Okay, so the motion is to table the uh, table whether we're going to wait the criteria or not. Please vote in the chat. Yes means you would like to table. No means you would not like to table. So Matt, to be clear, no means let's discuss now whether or not to wait. Yes. Okay. That's correct. All I think we have a clear majority to table. Okay. So we'll bring this up at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, so the last thing we consider, and I, and I don't think this will take as much time as the previous action, is how we're going to vote on the final uh, name preference and then uh, the two to four alternative names. So the, the two options we have is um, simple voting, which is you list your top five and um, whatever has the most number ones ends up winning and being the preferred. Um, what, ends up being, what ends up getting the most number twos uh, ends up being the number two and so on and so, or sorry, what ends up having the second most number ones ends up being, being number two and so on and so forth. 
The alternative is ranked. I think it just gets the votes. It's not number ones or number two. It's not a rank. It's a majority vote. A majority vote. Simple majority so vote. Whoever gets yep. the most votes when it gets the number one and then get the right. one gets the second most votes. It's right. One way. Yeah. Or the reason we're asking you at this meeting is because if we're going to do the ranked choice voting, then we're probably going to need some help doing that. So we want to sort of get that. Right. Right. I don't know if Mike Campbell wants to. Yeah, Mike, do you want to explain ranked choice voting? Um, in the in the interest of time, I'll just put some links into the chat, and people can look at it uh, themselves. And um, yes, there are there is um, readily available software that I can provide that will uh, facilitate using ranked choice voting. All right. Well, since we have to vote on one of these two, I, I'll take a stab at explaining it. Um, so basically, this is typically used for um, political campaigns and in Arlington it's very common it happens every year with the school board caucus and the way it works and the, the theory behind it is um, you can't have a winner until that winner gets more than 50 percent of the vote and it's possible the winner uh, the, uh, uh, the winner wouldn't have 50 percent after the first round so the way it works for the school board caucus um, and it would work the same here is you list your top five choices um, and then at the end of that, you tabulate all the, the first choices. And if that, for, if whatever the most common first choice is gets above 50%, it wins, it's the preferred choice. If it doesn't, then whatever is in the last place um, gets knocked out and you reallocate um, the second choice votes of the choice that was just knocked out. And you do that round, and if you reallocate the votes, and one of the other choices gets above fifty percent, it wins. If you don't, you go to the uh, another choice. The second, uh, the another choice gets knocked out, and you do the reallocation again until you get to fifty percent. So the way it would work here is basically you list your your choices in order of preference, and then we would use the software to basically tabulate and do the rounds for us. Um, and the thinking is that the winner would have ultimately a majority vote um, and then the other choices would also follow the same process. So it's definitely more complex than just, you know, simple majority vote, uh, but it is a trend in voting, particularly in Arlington and in Virginia as well. So with that, I'll open it up. So I'll, I'll just add to that, that the goal of ranked choice voting is this way, if there's 15 or 50 choices, that you don't end up with a majority of people hating the number one choice, um, which can happen with simple voting, um, because the number one choice might only get 16% of the vote. Um, and 58 or 75% of people may hate that selection. So um, we would do this for the last 20 names that we are considering. So this would be like the finale of um, after we've considered the all of the input from everything, then the, the December or January meeting, we would do this. Right, but you would still have an opportunity to have a majority voting and having only a 13% a, a of the of the working group would approve of the first class, right. first choice. Sure. So we're, we're totally willing. We just want to make sure that folks, you know, are comfortable. So part of using ranked choice voting is that you um, people are okay with the second choice. Maybe they're even okay with the third choice. Uh, so it 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 allows more choices and more voices to be heard, either as your first choice, your second choice, or your third choice. So I'd like to make a motion that we accept ranked choice voting as the preferred method of voting. Uh, for the names? I second. I second. Okay, everyone vote in the chat. Okay, it looks like we have a clear majority to have ranked choice voting. So um, that was relatively easy. So we have our 
Um, we decided how we're going to, um, to really evaluate the criteria to the name. We're going to have members of the steering committee and then any member of the working group who would like to volunteer and participate do that between now and October 21st. Uh, we chose the criteria and we chose the rules and we have decided to table the, um, the decision whether to weight any of the criteria or not until next meeting. And then we also decided to adopt the ranked choice voting method for the final vote on December 2nd or January 13th when we're voting in the final 10, 12, or 20 names, whatever it may be. So we did a can lot ask, of work. Can okay. I ask one quick something to think about while I have everybody on the phone or most everyone? Sure. Um, so it, the subcommittee meeting, there's, it has to be close to the October 21st meeting because we'll still be getting names. So we don't want too much, too many names that the working subcommittee doesn't um, uh, have time to evaluate. So it would probably be either the Saturday, October 17th, or possibly the Monday of um, the 19th. So just keep that in mind. Um, it'll probably take three to four hours. So when you're considering, I'll be sending out an email, but I just want everyone to you know, give that some thought that it's definitely gonna take a long time to evaluate all these names as a group. Um, but we look forward to anybody who wants to join us on a Saturday or a Monday night. And if anyone wants to, to volunteer right now, you can do that too, or you can send me a, your, an email. I'm assuming it's by Zoom, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are, are there any volunteers right now? I'd just be curious. Yeah, I see a few. Okay. Jim, Jim Anika, Lauren. Oh, we're all going to get the notice, I assume. And... Yeah, yeah. We'll let, I'll just send an email so we don't have to do it now. I just wanted to just say, you know, it's going to be kind of a crunch because it'll be right before the meeting and it's going to be a pretty big chunk of time. Um, and we could do one on Saturday and then one on, well, we'll send an email tomorrow. Yeah, we'll in figure Matthew out. and Sandy, can I ask, and you can tell me, we'll just deal with this another time, but can we start us at some point, can we have a plan for a subcommittee on renaming Old Lee Highway as well? Or um, we pick a name that's, should we just pick some, the second choice name from this process? I, that's what I think you should do. That sounds great to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like a really good idea. <laughs> or at least, yeah. Or it's just old, whatever the name is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stole my joke. Oh, you stole my joke. <laughs> John Lewis Highway. Even though I, I, I do have to say that the folks that lived right here. Okay. I, I think it's important that we have some sort of process for that because. Um, there are businesses and homes that live yeah. on that small stretch of, of highway. And I think we, we should have a process for that. Yeah. And it's more of a lane or a, it's not, it's not like going to be a boulevard or an avenue. Right. But we're advocating that it change. So we we'll probably want to have a subcommittee or something for that. Yep. Okay. We have an, a transportation advisory group, so we could expand that to include that. Yeah. That would be a good, good time to talk about that. Well, thank okay, you. so wrapping uh, up, for your... uh, yeah, thank you for all your time. Just continue talking to your community about uh, names. We keep, love, get, keep getting name suggestions. And thank you for doing so much work today. This is a crucial meeting for getting the job done in the coming months. So thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 See you guys. See ya.